if you really, really, really want to stop and, and gain control, I mean, we don't have to have war to end this little game that's going on. You just have to be really, really freaking smart. You have to be smarter than evil. And um, the only way any of this can all plan out is by the wealth of the elites. You take their wealth away, they got nothing. They got zippo. And they're putting all of their eggs in one basket. Well, two baskets, actually gold and silver. Who owns all the gold and silver? They own the majority. They've put all of their wealth in the investment of gold. Now kind of look at what the Philosopher's Stone is all about. Why is that like such a big secret? Why is that information so secret? Philosopher Stone. That means that what they actually do is they can take any object. I can take this. I can take a rock. I can take anything. And, you know, as long as I use some kind of philosophy, like an economic philosophy, you know, as long as I can make your brain see there's value in that, you've now made, you know, a mineral into something that's extremely valuable. You put the value on it only because you choose to put a value on gold. It's not that it's, it's valuable at all. There, there is zero value in gold. The only, it, it's you buying it. It's you participating with gold and silver that gives it value. If you see, you know, if if I have the philosophy that says, look at gold as nothing more than a mineral. Go outside, go pick yourself up a rock, and it's a mineral too. There is zero difference between the mineral gold and the mineral of silver, other than all minerals can be used for other things, you know, like we can use it for a lot of other shit. Um, but as far as the currency goes, it's about as valuable as a piece of paper. There's no difference between gold and paper or a chip or make-believe money on a computer. There is zero, zero difference. You know, it's just a matter of, oh, let's put wealth on something. Let's put value on something. You manipulate enough people to do that, and all of a sudden it's valuable. And it's like we got so much power right now by not buying gold and silver. And and you got to kind of look at who's telling truth. Is their advertising pushing gold and silver? You can know that they're, you know, and that's where kind of look at Alex Jones. Alex Jones is like angry. He's encouraging you to be angry. And if you look at any of the sciences, I mean, even use your own freaking experiences. Do you say anything logical when you are angry? Or do you tend to say things you don't really mean when you're pissed off? You know, the same logic goes on. If you study science, if you study how to get a good idea, um, you will never get a good idea when you're pissed off. Pissed off will force you. It's the driving force for you to solve a problem, but it's only like calm yourself down, get yourself in a peaceful state, and then start asking some good questions. How can I solve this problem? And you'll get better answers. Alex Jones doesn't do that. He, you know, you man, you 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 know, like he's his body motions for one scientifically can be proven that his actions you will imitate. You know, if, if you are watching him and he's angry, chances are when you leave the room, you'll feel a little pissed off. Don't even look at the information. Just look at his body language and you will mimic. That's what humans do. We are like tape recorders. You put something in front of us and we'll, you know, we'll copy you because that's what we do. Because we're not aware of what we do. We do have control. We do have uh, a free will going on, but you have to kind of be aware of what the free will is. It's like you got to know what your choices are. If you think you got no choices, then it'll appear like you got no choices. But it's only in your mind that you think you've got no choice, or somebody's manipulated you to think you've got no choice, or they give you limited choices, so you have to pick one or the other. When there's a billion, it, there's infinite, infinite directions you can take at all times. That can be scientifically proven too. So, I mean, if we really, really, truly wanted to um, gain our power back, it's like, don't sell you gold or silver. If you have any, don't sell it. You know, don't, don't make somebody else 
use that as a value. Take it out of the um, economic system, hold on to it, but never use it as currency. And, you know, if you start putting that out into the universe that, yeah, I've got gold and I'm not going to sell it and I'm not going to use it to um, exchange anything because then that gives the elite power, that gives your enemy all the power they need to destroy you, you know, stop taking that freaking pill. You know, don't buy it. And the more you put out, that's how the stock market goes up is by the mentality of the masses. So it's like if you can get this logic and you start telling other people this logic, then the psychology of the masses change, which then affects the stock market. So it wouldn't take long. You know, if you if you just, you know, pass this to make your own video, pass information around, you know, within two months, you can you can have a rumor going across the planet. Word of mouth spreads faster than any friggin' advertising could. You know, it has so much friggin' power. And all we have to do is know that if you don't like what's going on in the world, trust beyond a doubt, everything is being funded by gold and silver. There's huge manipulation going into you know, gold and silver is the way out of the system. They're trying to, you know, get a, a united dollar, you know, that globally, so this new world order has one world currency, that one world currency they're trying to push is gold and silver. And who owns all of it? You know, anybody that's wealthy can buy it. Nobody that is a current slave can afford gold and silver. So you're only making another new game of the same thing where yeah we got slavery all over again it's the value we put on money that makes money evil it's um, definitely the cause of all poverty and the solution out of this is there is a brilliant way out of this we just need a completely different mindset and that just needs to be developed I mean that mindset begins with you knowing what is a good decision, knowing what kind of power you have, and actually acting on it. And to buy gold, you know, is, uh, and value gold or silver, it's like handing your enemy the gun that he's going to shoot you with. Why would you want to do that? It just makes no logic sense. And if it's like you can't comprehend this, ask a question. Because, um, you know, don't go by just my belief. Um, if there is even the slightest possibility that this is true, ask questions. Find out for yourself. Is there a domino effect? Is it really me handing the gun to my enemy so he can shoot me? Find out if it's true. Just don't, well, I'm not going to believe that. It may be the fact that you put a lot of money into gold and silver and you're kind of relying on that. And, you know, everybody, in order for the system to crash, in order for change to happen. You have to get rid of the system. So it's like you crash it on your terms, it won't last long. Crash it on their terms, you trust everybody will die. Because that's the goal. You know, there is, the guys with the money are spending money in, you know, just look at the this God particle they're working on in, in, I think it's Geneva or whatever, you know, that antimatter. Where do you think all that funding comes from? You know, where do you think uh, uh, all of this money goes into all of the drugs that that feeds you? You know, like the medical world is profiting huge off of the medication that you know. Hey, let's ignore this problem. Take a pill. Oh yeah, you'll get rid of one problem, but you'll get twenty more that'll end up killing you. Where does that get funded from, the elite? You have to sort of see in how many ways are they killing you. And if you play that game out long enough, it will destroy the friggin' planet. You know, you won't have air to breathe. You know, just look at the gulf. Just look at the gulf. And you'll see that is going to grow. That's just, that, that wasn't even the beginning even though it may appear like it's the beginning of something wrong. But there is a lot more hardship to come until we all wake up. 
but there will be a good sign when there's any kind of talk over the internet. If anybody is starting to spread, I give up valuing the gold that I have. I won't even sell it because if I sell it, that means I'm letting somebody else make the decision of whether it should have value or not. I wouldn't. I would hold on to it as sort of. Remember the day where they tried to fool us with this this rock? You know, I keep it as a memory. You know, might be some value as memory, like a painting. <laughs> you know, um, but there is some really really cool technology that I'm aware of. It's very very suppressed technology. And uh, a lot of them need gold and silver for that technology. So um, holding on to it in your own backyard for a completely different economic system might be worth it then. But it won't be worth it to trade for your food. or If you treat it as a currency, it's your own destruction. If you hold on to it like a painting or um, you know something that has a meaning to you that you need to save it, um, for a completely different game, um, it is a valuable tool. It, it will help create free energy for yourself because gold is a really, really good thing to have when you want to create free energy. Um, and I'm talking energy that doesn't use up any natural resources. Anyways, there's my spew on gold and silver. Hang on to it. Don't give it value. It's the gun they use to shoot to it. Peace out.